I am using the Seek app from Nat Geo and the Smithsonian to identify wildlife and biodiversity. So I was mistaken. The app Seek is not from Nat Geo and the Smithsonian. It's from Nat Geo and the California Institute for Sciences, I think is what it's called. So I was mistaken on that one. But it's a really good app. And this one, it's showing me the family of grasses, but I'm trying to get it like to identify specifically what it is. And sometimes you kind of have to adjust the camera angle to get it to work. So this is saying the genus is, oh now, oh okay, it locked on to a species. So it works through the kingdom classifications and it can go down to the species if you can get a good enough picture of it. So this is bushy blue stem. Oh, and there's an ant on it. Oh, and I got a badge in this app, so it's a game too. It has monthly challenges. Um, let's see if I can get the ants too. Come on. Sometimes, like, it can't figure out what to zoom in on, though. Yeah, it can't. It doesn't know what you're focusing on. Let's see. Maybe I can. There's a bunch of ants on this, so I don't want to, like, touch it, touch it. So, what's the name of that one? Um, this one down here is Dog Fennel, according to the Seek app, um, which is, like, a more family-friendly version of iNaturalist. It's kind of easier to use. Um, and through the phone camera, it'll identify the species that you're seeing. And if you get a good enough picture, it can, you know, go all the way down to the particular species. Otherwise, it might just get, like, the family or the genus that it's in. Um, so it's really cool for, like, identifying things on your walk and then maybe also using it for citizen science. Buttonweed. We've got another new species. <laughs> Wonder if these nuts will scan. You should try them. Oh, there's like a nest kind of in here too. So it's got me to the class Zycots. But you have to like, your camera has to be really, really steady. Yeah, I don't do steady camera. I'm just got my phone right now, so it's shaking as my hand shakes. So we're trying to find birds too. We keep hearing them, but I can't see them anywhere. So I keep getting dicots, which like that's a class, so it, it can't really identify particularly what something is. There's a nest right here, right? Yeah. Trying to see if it will identify a nest. Let's see. Probably not. <laughs> but this would have been good for that class I took where it was trying to find um how trees are used as habitats. Mm -hmm. I found some really cool fungi near the library and I like Might be too much in the shade. Tropical milkweed. 
so I got another biodiversity challenge. Biodiversity challenge. Biodiversity Necklace pod. Necklace pod. Never heard of that. <laughs> Got a lot of sand on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mar. <laughs> uh, what was the app's name again? Seek by iNaturalist. It's a free app for identifying species so you can learn about biodiversity and kingdom classifications. And it's from Nat Geo and the Smithsonian. Is it free? It is free. And it's... I like iNaturalist, but I think this one is better for the kids because it's a lot easier to use. Um, and it has like a gamified component to it. I'm gonna change my shoes really quick. Ugh. So it's like a more gamified kind of thing. Um, it has like badges and a, a monthly challenge that you can complete with different um, types of species you need to find. Um, but it's got a lot of like quick rewards, like a mobile game. So it's something that you can have achievements in really fast. Like we found 12 different species in an hour long walk today. Cool. Yeah. Cool. We level up to cub. <laughs> <laughs> so would you give us a good review of this app? I would. And hopefully I'm going to have it be a project the kids can do this coming year because there's no way we're doing in-person activities again. <laughs> 2021 is off the table as well. <laughs> So what does the app do really well? Um, well, it has like an AI component that is searching databases to identify species for you. So that's the really cool thing is like if you don't know a lot about species, um, you can just use it and it will find it for you. It takes a little bit sometimes to get it right, um, but the, it's really cool that it uses AI in that way. Is that the biggest hope uh, drawback to it that it's still like doesn't identify stuff really quick. I mean, or that's kind of like, I mean, that's that's the thing is like, if you can't get a good enough picture um, or you can't hold it steady enough, you know, like it may not identify it specifically. Um, but it's pretty good. Um, and it's trying to do it in real time for you. And also in areas where you might not have cell service too, it's trying to log your data so that it can like upload it later to identify things. Okay, cool. um, so it's got like a lot of things going on at once in the app. So it just, it, you have to take your time with it. So give it a thumbs up, right? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and then also we had a second adventure because I was trying to get birds. You know, we went to a park and you're like, nature, right? Could not get the birds, right? No, where did we get a freaking great egret? The Target parking lot, y'all. The Target parking lot. Y'all. <laughs>